there, my name is Jessica Stewart and this is part of the Yoga 4 series. Um, this is yoga for climbers and in particular yoga for pre-climbing, so building strength in the upper body and opening and loosening up the hips uh, ready for a good climb. So make your way up to stand, feet hip distance apart and then arms alongside you really stretch out through the palms of your hands. Take a big breath in and lift the arms all the way up, interlace the fingers and press the hands high to the ceiling. Big breath again, and then exhale, bring the arms all the way back down. Let's do that again. So inhale, arms come all the way up. Pressing through the soles of the feet, interlace and push up a little bit higher. And then this time, lifting your ribs, breathe the arms up and over towards the right side. Feel the sides of your waist cinch in. Push through the soles of both feet, maybe even turn your gaze up towards the side. And then bending the knees a little, pushing through the feet, come back up. Change the interlace of the fingers. Press back up, take a big breath. Another inhalation to lift the ribs and then arms come up and over towards the left side. Try and really square your hips towards the front. If you feel comfortable too, you can turn your gaze up. Good. Remembering the soles of the feet are pressing down here. And then inhale, come gliding all the way back up. Good. Let's take that to a forward fold. So arms come behind you, interlace the fingers open up the chest, squeeze the shoulders back, and then bending the knees, fold forward. So if the hamstrings are a little bit tight, feel free to bend the knees as much as you need. If you feel quite open here, tip forward. Arms come up and overhead, and you let your head hang. Let's take three slow, steady breaths here. Letting your head hang heavy. Breathing really deeply into the back of the rib cage so your shoulders can slowly release. And then let's try a little twist. So from here, bend your right knee and see if you could tap your right shoulder down towards your right knee and rotate looking over your left shoulder. Pull the belly in, come back through to centre. Straighten both legs, left knee bends. Dunk that left shoulder down to the left knee. Chest glides forward to the front, look up and then come back through to center. Good. From here, drop the hands down towards the floor and walk hands forward, feet come back. Take high plank position. So really good shoulder strengthening and core opening here. So fingers spread really wide, press into the ground and lift the skin between the shoulders. See if you can scoop the belly button up a little bit higher. Holding here for three. Try and lengthen the spine forward, collarbones wide. Holding for two. Holding for one more breath. And then here, exhale, drop your right elbow under the shoulder. Forearm comes flat down. Really press through the forearm. Left elbow comes down, forearm flat to the floor. Holding forearm plank now for three. Good. Really feel the heat that you're generating inside your belly. Holding for two. Holding for one more breath. And then lifting back up, trying to keep the pelvis as level as possible. Right hand underneath, push, lift. Left hand comes underneath and hold. A little bit quicker now, left forearm down, pelvis nice and steady. Right forearm down, hold, feel the core strengthen, possibly shake, shaking a little bit. Left hand underneath, right hand underneath, high plank again. Push yourself back into your downward facing dog now and pedal through the heels. Give your head a good shake, yes and no, releasing tension from your neck. And then begin to bring your heels over towards the right side. So you're swiveling both heels to the right. Bend your knees and push your bum backwards behind you so you're lengthening through the sides of your spine. That should feel a really lovely stretch through the side of your back, the sides of the glutes. And then come back through to centre. Spin your heels to the left side. You're on the inner and outer blade of both feet. And then press your hips back. Lengthening through the side of your spine. And then come back all the way to centre. Now roll through the spine, coming forward into high plank position again. Bodies parallel to the ground. Chest comes forward, heels press back. And then push down through the hands again so you get that little lift in your rib cage. From here, slowly lowering all the way down onto your belly for three. Keep the chest forward for two. And for one, belly to the mat. Press into the hands and then lift the chest up, baby cobra. As you exhale, come back down. 
Tuck your toes, use your knees, and then push back into downward facing dog. Lifting the left leg, sweep the left leg to the front of the mat, and then walk around to the right corner of the mat so you're facing the side of the room now, side of your mat. Skandasana, so bend your right knee, right toes turn out at the same angle as the knee, spin onto the inside of that left heel, the bottom of the left heel. Okay, just take a couple of breaths there, opening up the inner left leg and then come through the center, same on the other side. So knee and toes always point in the same direction. Either staying or turning that right heel up towards the ceiling, right toes up to the ceiling. Good. And then come back through to center once more each side. Bending into your right knee, shift the weight, turn the left foot to the left. Come slowly back to center, left foot to the left side and turn the toes to the ceiling so you're really opening up deeply inside the inner right thigh and then come back turn both toes in this time heels slightly further out lift your toes so your feet are active and then feed your spine underneath your body so you're coming into wide-legged forward fold or prasarita parottanasana again if you need your feet a little closer together feel free if you want to bend your knees if there's tightness around the hamstrings then you're more than welcome Let's take a good few breaths there again. Shake out the head if you need to. You can hold onto the outside of the ankles and use your elbows as a lever if that feels good. Two more steady breaths. And then walking the hands forward towards the front. Bring the feet a little bit closer in, ready for squat pose, Malasana. So toes and knees again point out at that diagonal line. Elbows come inside your thighs and you might need to wriggle around a little bit to open up the inner hips. Shift the sh uh, chest backwards and thumbs push forward slightly. And again, just taking three deep breaths here, pressing the elbows into the inner thighs. Maybe pushing down through the outside of the feet so you can really open the thigh in the hip socket and then begin to twist. Left hand to the base of the spine, sweep the right arm up towards the ceiling, reach tall and elongate. Keep pressing the right thigh to the right side of the room. And then bring that right hand back down. Wriggle through the shoulders, reach up through the left hand and really open up the whole of the left side of your body. Keep pressing the left thigh to the left so it doesn't slink forward back through to center. Now you have a choice to either stay here, pressing into the hands, lifting the chest, or hands come forward, push into the hands, slip your knees towards your armpits, and shift the weight forward into crane pose, Bakasana. Two, breathing for two more breaths. One, and then coming back down. Good, let's bring your hands into the heart center, and then arms come alongside your body. Shift the weight onto the sits bones. Bring the soles of the feet together. Heels come in a little bit. And just rock the knees up and down just to soften through the hip joints. And then begin to fold. The elbows come inside the thighs and then begin to make your way forward. Three more steady breaths. And coming down to lie, extending your legs, mat distance apart, and then rolling all the way down, vertebra by vertebra, coming into a well-deserved Shavasana, just to recharge and let that, the effects of your yoga practice sink in before you begin your big climb. beginning to roll back up. Namaste, have a great climb.